Hi, this is Ian Soper with Owen State Community College uh, Disability Resource Center. And this is a quick video on uh, using Narrator. And one of the one of the nice features about Narrator is, although it is it, it was designed for people who are blind or have low vision, um, it, it can be used for individuals who just want text to be read to them. Now, one of the things to think about with a screen reader, which is what this is, a text-to-speech program, is that you need special keyboard commands for it because it was designed for people who are blind. Therefore, uh, it has a whole special set of controls that you use because an individual who's blind is not going to be using a mouse necessarily. What we need to do to get Narrator to work for our general purposes, just to get it to read stuff to us, is to disable a lot of the features that are built into it. So this video is going to show you how to turn on Narrator and then how to disable the features that make it a little cumbersome for a sighted user to, to use. What you do is hit the Start button, which brings up your Start menu. You can either click it, or there's usually a button to the left of your space bar. You want to hit the Window key and then type in Narrator. And there it is, right there. Mouse mode on. Narrator dialog. OK. Now that brings up this window here. If you click on this button, you can disable it for, for the future, but I like having it come up because it has some general explanations. One other way to turn Narrator on and off is to hit Window Control Enter. Now that's the window key on your keyboard to the left of the spacebar. That will flip Narrator on and flip it off, which is nice if you're doing something and you need to turn the speech off quickly. So I'm going to click on OK. Residence in Narrator Dialog. And that's going to pop up the settings window for narrator. What we want to click on is the settings. Main set settings, settings, scan off, use narrator, turn on narrator. Now every time it continues reading and I want to stop it, what I'm doing is hitting the control key, the left control key. And what that does is just stop the speech. It does not turn narrator off. It just pauses it for the, for the short term. So in any case, there are a whole lot of controls here that you can see. Startup options, personalize narrator's voice. That's important. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to slow it down a little Personalize bit. Personalize narrator's voice. Change voice speed. Slider at the... Use narrator. Turn on narrator. Uh, over time, what you find is that you get used to the speed of the voice, and you'll want to turn it up because it'll read faster, and you can, you can get things done a little bit quicker. Now, you'll notice what my narrator does is the mouse here is active, meaning that I could use it. Uh, when this turns on, when it defaults to turning on, the mouse will not be active for reading. Okay, the mouse will still work, but you won't be able to actually cause what you're hovering the mouse over to read. And that's what we want to turn off. That's what makes it really useful. So I'll demonstrate it here. I'm going to put the mouse over personalized narrator's voice. Personalized narrator's voice. Heading it, level two. It puts a box around it. It's adding other information that you don't have to worry about, like heading level two. What we want to do is turn on so that narrator, instead of being controlled by the keyboard, it's controlled by the mouse. And anything we put the mouse over, well, it's just going to read it and hopefully put a box around it. So once you pull up the narrator settings, scroll down, and we want to get, it's way down here, uh, use narrator cursor. The two things we want to turn on are read and interact with the screen using the mouse. And then right below that is have the narrator cursor follow the mouse. And what that means is that blue box you see right there that's, that's highlighting what it's reading, it follows where the mouse is. So we want to turn both of those on. Mine are on right now. Yours will be defaulted to being unchecked. So just check both of those, and that's it for that. Now, what you notice is there are tons of features in there. This is a complicated system. It's designed, as I said, to be used by lots of different people, including people with blindness who have special settings and special needs for how they're using it. So for right now, that's all we need from here. I'm going to close the settings window. Settings, nar narrator. And then this window I'm going to minimize. Narrator, Re residence invite. So anyway, let's talk about how we use this with a website. I'm going to go over here to the narrator keyboard commands website on Microsoft's uh, support page. I'm going to put a link to this so you can jump right here because there are a couple keyboard commands, shortcuts, that you can press that will make your life a lot easier. To demonstrate how this works, I'm going to hover my mouse over the word narrator key, which is about a third of the way down the page. Narrator key. And what it does is it just speaks it very quickly, which is awesome if you're taking a test or you're reading a large amount of material, uh, being able to just mouse over what you want it to read and having it go. Section. You can choose what modifier key you want to use in narrator commands. Both the caps lock and insert key serve as your narrator key by the... You notice I, I hover over the first part. It's only highlighting you, but it's reading that whole chunk of text. So you need to experiment with it. It can be a little bit unusual to get used to, but once you're comfortable with it, 
you know, it, it, it's, it's pretty handy. Finally, you can hit control to stop it from talking or window key, control and enter, which will turn it off. If you want to get it to read from a certain spot straight down, but you don't want to sit there and mouse over every sentence or every paragraph that you want it to read, the trick there is to hit the narrator key and the R button. What narrator R does is it reads from where the cursor is at. There are a whole bunch of these keyboard controls that can speed up your control over how it's reading and what it's reading, where it's reading it, read a paragraph or to jump back a paragraph and begin reading. And you could see how using those keyboard commands, you could jump through text a little more uh, conveniently than you would by just mousing around. But just using the mouse works fine too. So if that is your preferred method, just you know, stick with it. If you want to know more about the shortcut keys, like I said, there'll be a link in the description of this video uh, that'll take you to the support page. So one thing that's unusual is you notice it says narrator key plus R. And what the narrator key is, is that is something that's designated in narrator to be sort of a master key. And I believe it defaults to being caps lock. You can check that in the narrator settings. If you want to get to that, you hit the window button and type settings. Setting, and settings it. window, search box. And that will pull up your system settings and just type narrator in here. Suggestions, suggest pop up, search box. You notice the first option right there is select narrator settings. Narrator, so first that. startup options. Which by the way, narrator settings from the settings menu is also how you can get to adjusting the voice pitch, the voice you use, all of those settings. I've got Microsoft David desktop here. Personalize now. Uh, I just think that one sounds better. That's up to you. And then change voice speed, which is right below it. You can do things like change the, the, the pitch and the volume. So anyway, back to the keyboard controls. The way we use this is we're going to hit narrator and R and the default narrator button is caps lock. So basically you're going to hit caps lock R and it should start reading down the page from wherever the cursor is at. We'll test that now. I'm going to move up to control at the top of the left column. Table control. From here, I'm going to hit caps lock R. Control stop reading narrator and tab narrator plus five. Numeric keypad. Read item narrator and tab twice quickly. You can see what it's doing is it's reading from where my cursor was at. And so that, if you're going to learn any keyboard shortcut, that's the one I would learn. So you can mouse where you want it to read and hit caps lock R. Or if you've changed your narrator key, which you can do in the settings, it's going to be whatever your narrator key is. But remember, it defaults to caps lock. I hope you find this video useful. I hope it's helpful. If you want to know more about uh, Narrator, contact the Disability Resource Center at Owens Community College. And I hope you have a great day.